Welcome back to Fewer, and welcome back to some more Path of Logic. Alright, so last episode, um, I don't care for your subscriptions or your viewing time. If I can help somebody out there, I will. The subjects I'm talking about every time is so you can see both sides, good and the bad. And then you can keep these things in mind, and when you think, you consider both sides, not just think one-sided. Um, it's fine if you want to leave, like, these subjects I'm talking about are not for you then. It's for other people, that's why you need to keep talking a whole bunch about other stuff. Also, I mentioned more things in other videos so I'm usually like I hope you understand what I'm saying like do these do these two things connect now like are you beginning to understand because that's how it works I give a bit of my thoughts in in, in a in another video and we have this guy again with the loud sound yeah so I give a bit of my thought in other videos and then I say um, refer back to these things or I use them as method um, what is it called um, examples again like I use them as metaphors and, and things like that the thing is, is that these situations don't feel good at all and they are not supposed to they are supposed because you can't have one without the other as I said again, you can't just have good, you have to understand bad as well. That That's something, if that's missing, then, then you don't know what will happen to you or how to feel about that. This feeling, it, it feels totally new, it's, it's something, it's like you changing. You don't like to change. I wonder how many times people spoke to themselves or with friends or with anything about it in, my, in, the, in the other videos. Like how many times did you talk about that? Like, I wasn't there in your room, was I? We didn't have a physical conversation, because the feeling would be different. I could counter you, and you could counter me. Agree, agree to disagree, or just disagree. You see what I mean? Good and bad, you need to think both sides. It's, it's what I said just now. Agree, good, don't agree, bad, agree and disagree. See, you have more options there, but you're not seeing that. I'm trying to make you see that. That there is, there's more options where there is actually nothing at all. It is nothing. There is nothing. But you, you create that. It's all you. And these situations are not. These situations are not supposed to feel good. You understand? That, and I'm introducing this slowly. But if. If you're a new viewer just watching this, you're not gonna understand anything I'm saying. You're probably just gonna use your own theories and logic and throw them at me. And then you're gonna go to another video that's more of your kind of speed, kind of high. Then I guess my words are not for you. Because they're not for everyone. And yet they are. You see what I mean? Both sides thinking. They are exactly that. They are for everyone. But things are missing. Now you understand what I mean when I say you can't have one without the other, good and bad. So it's not going to click. And the thing is, is that the reason I make you read in my videos is so you can have a hint of what you want to do later as well. Like I explain about vitamins, for instance. Okay, I have no hair. Uh, I don't know what it is to go gray. But you have facial hair? Oh, you don't have that. Okay, you're hairless. That's okay. Then my sub this subject is not for you. Doesn't mean the whole video is not for you. It means that this subject, subject means that the particular thing I'm talking about is not for you then. Move on. You see what I mean? It's like when you do have issues like that, I can assess them. And make you aware of certain things and that you need to look them up you need to look this up you need to do your research 
I want you to move, to, to be out there, to be more than just one thing. Because that's one-sided thinking. You can't stack shelves your whole life. Because that will be in your genes as well. And But the government always does something new. Like, okay, we're going to put four uh, shelves now for you to stack. And then you can't compute anymore. And you're like, uh, you need to be an artist. You need to be an inventor. You need to be all of these things. You need to be innovative. You need to be an opportunist. You need to be all of this. Not just one thing. That's what I keep telling people. For example, how do you know if something is bad or, or feels bad or, or you shouldn't go in there, man? That that place, that cave is not good. You shouldn't go in there. How do you know that a cave is bad? Like, do you do you know about your surroundings? Do you know anything about the wild? Do, do, do you know about hunting? Do you know about hunting and gathering? Do, do, what do you know? Like, can you spot footsteps on the ground or anything like that? Oh, look, this is broken tree branch or whatever. I'm giving funny examples, but the situ... The subject is not supposed to be too serious, but it gets serious. That's the point I'm making. Like some things in life you don't have to know about at all, because these things won't happen in your life. Exactly. Then this is not a subject for you. I'm giving warnings as well in my videos. I'm trying to be cautious, but some subjects are just dead on. You can't walk around this. You can't make fun of somebody that, that doesn't want to be here anymore. I am sarcastic. I do, I do say yeah, okay, this is that, and yeah, and you don't want to be here and stuff. And, uh, uh, uh. and then I just say, I was just kidding. You're gonna feel all of that. But that's how you know that you don't want to be in that situation. You don't want to have only bad in your life. You don't want to be in that situation. You understand me? You don't want to be there. You don't want to lift this subject. This subject is bad. That's how you know it's bad. Because otherwise you wouldn't know anything at all. You would just walk in blindly and get effed up. See, I'm trying to make you understand certain things. It's like... It's like the Bible, basically. It, it says horrible, horrible shit. A lot of times. It's a book filled with torture. But there's also good and lessons that could come from it. But the thing is, is that... If, if that's your thing, I'm saying that, look at it from both sides. And if you don't want to, you don't have to. That's the choice. That's why I always make you doubt me. So you do your research. You can It's not that you should distrust me. It's that you should do your research and, and actually be sure of, of what you know is, is actually the truth. Because then no one can fool you. Because you're getting fooled all over the place. You just walk in blindly without knowing so that's why I say you need to keep learning because you can't just switch that off your brain is constantly working but it's also very lazy that's the one muscle that constantly does it it needs to it, it needs the urge it, it gets the will it, it, it must it makes it all about that and it can't stop and that's what you can have as well you can place bad things in your genes you can also place good things in your genes the funny things about genes is, is that even if you have really bad genes, you're scared that your children will get that as well. Like maybe they will have the urge to do to, to what I have, like uh, hate human beings or anything like that. These are standard emotions that they will have. These are standard things they will go through, depending on the situations in life. See, that's just like the Bible, I'm not going to just throw a lot of shit at you. I'm going to talk about different subjects, not just the same shit. Because if you read the Bible, it's full of pain. And most of the things are just that makes you angry. Because you don't understand your emotions yet. You're gonna see somebody that got away with millions and millions of, of people that are dead. And that makes you kinda angry. Like he got away with it. And it gives you no understanding at all. It only makes you point at one thing. That he got away with so much more than, than you think. But there's so much more details behind that that you haven't seen yet. I'll make you understand both sides. Why? So you can see what these people are missing. But also not to get f fucked up, you understand? You don't, I'm not going to make you walk in blindly, not knowing anything. I want you to have some knowledge at least. 
This makes you valuable to others because you'll be surprised when you get really smart. You go to school, you get really smart, you do your best, and you 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 don't have a bully behind you. you, you you went through all of that, but you, you, you kept going diff to different schools and finally you made it to the right school. And the friends came along automatically, just like that. It was like sitting in a class, just breathing and doing your best, and suddenly they were there. It was that easy. I'm saying that you got, you gotta go through the good and the bad. And... Some things you can't just continuously walk around that subject. It has to come eventually. And it's not going to be good. But th that depends. Every life is different. I'm not just throwing a bunch of shit at you. And the reason I make you read in my videos is because you read to yourself. Why? Because I'm selfless. I like to say that I figured this stuff out by myself. And that's what I want you to do, because you read that back to yourself. You learn yourself then. I said staring in the dark, waking up, looking around. You, If you actually do, because it sounds dumb and stupid as shit. But if you actually do that, you'll see that you actually get a little bit terrified. Because I had that once, where when I, I was in a very dark room. And I opened my eyes and I was like, how do you know? Huh? It's so, it's complete darkness, like how do you know how that thought even works? And then I mentioned God again, and I'm like, yes, that's the thing. Eventually, you shouldn't blame anyone for anything really. And you can blame them, because if people touch you, I mean, you can blame them for that. But you need to know why as well. These can, and once you know why, once you place yourself in their shoes, you will understand them, but I'm telling you that most things you have to be cautious. See, now we're taking a step back again. Just watch out what you're doing. Because if you know this person completely, you might go crazy yourself. It's basically being the pretender. You just basically live everyone's life. And to understand, that's what I do. I understand people. That's how I get the mindset. I'm never me. I'm always someone else. There's always an act going on. And I'm never me, because I can't be me. But you're not you yet, you're developing that still. But this is this gives me understanding, personally. But you don't have to do that. See, you don't have to get involved with that. See, that's an option, there's a choice there. I keep trying to make you see that there's more to that. That you can be more. That you need to take that opportunity. That you need to just go out there and just do it. Because there are plenty of bad people out there. And only a few good ones. But that makes you say things like that in a different way. It makes you say that actually everyone is bad and everyone is good. There are not some people that are good out there and some people that are bad out there. Different genes, different... Un you understand? You begin to understand what the hell is going on with everyone. You're beginning to understand about, about, about television programming. You're beginning to understand about the internet programming. You're beginning to understand how people come towards you and then they show you nonsense look in my iPhone look this is this is this is two dirty men doing some dirty stuff together and then, then you laugh at work haha this is funny oh look at this uh, this gif or gif or whatever and they bring it towards you and then these people brainwash these other people I'm telling you that everybody is influencing each other without even noticing it you're actually there to learn you have that factor in your head to learn see now we're taking more steps back it becomes understanding eventually so that means you will blame no one you will still have that because you grew up with that that's muscle memory you understand you can't take that away you could have amnesia meaning that you're not there and uh, you could be a brand new person but you still have those urges because that's what you build that's what you made for yourself so you don't have to be conscious of that because you have amnesia you're not there it doesn't matter if it's amnesia or not you're not there that's the point I'm making, but you're not seeing what I mean. You don't understand how I think yet. And I'm not trying to make you understand how I completely think, I'm just saying that it does help you see options. And that's all I'm trying to do. Give you options, seeing the good and bad, show you where, where this leads to if you do this, and where the other side leads to if it goes wrong. S showing you both sides. 
so you know absolutely sure that you're getting yourself involved in something good and that the bad can come along but the damage is less you understand the more understanding you have the better it is for you to live and choices become easier you can do more things than you think but you don't know where to start and I'm giving you a hint that's why I keep giving you hints you need to use your brain a lot all right now for jeans the funniest thing about jeans is that you don't you're probably scared that your child will have all of the things that you have but the funniest thing about jeans is that sometimes these things can be missing how can that be don't they don't they absorb everything no I don't have for instance everybody in my family has like what do you call that fat man jeans is where their skin can expand and you can eat as much as you want and your skin gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and you hold so much food you're obese you can get obese I can get obese everybody in my family has that except me I have all the problems I'm chronically asthmatic I have classic migraines I I have a fever bronchitis I uh, I have more shitty genes than that. The terrible, terrible genes. It, it really hurts. It's stinging feelings all over the organs. I have weak organs, bad organs even. Like I have the worst of the worst genes. My other sibling, she has everything that is good. Like everything is good for her. She can be a bully. She can just go out there and just be blind and work her ass off. And be like these other people that you need to be actually you see that it's not difficult to change but change feels horrible as well because you don't you don't just have good you have both of these things working here and you want to have good all the time and that's why you need to build it up you need to build up from scratch how do you start reading moonfish rose you have to start somewhere you understand what I'm saying you learn this from the start, but you're not paying attention. You're just a child, you're just doing. And then at the end of your life, you become too prideful. You're like, I did all of this. When you actually did nothing at all. If you, if I, I would, I would show you a tree your whole life, it would probably be a fucking tree. But you don't know what it is, because I never told you what it is. It's that simple. I'm telling you the origins of things, and telling you that you are here because you developed your mind like that. You gave structure. Now your life has meaning, now you have value, otherwise you would be still on empty. And you got this from other people as well, these influences. But don't be too, too driven, because that makes you crazy. If you want to get crazy, you can, because you're, gonna, you're going to lift that subject your whole life. Then make that subject your own. So when somebody says, oh man, I know what regret feels like, and you can tell all about that subject you know what regret is you know all the words behind that and that's great but it that's the thing that makes you crazy i make myself crazy with everyone i i have to if i acknowledge these things most of these things i don't even need but if i acknowledge these things i can help you people and that's what i discovered i can actually help people there is an option for that and i i saw it and these people actually get do get brighter and it's amazing I have proof that I help people, but the thing is, is that I saw a few less subscribers today and I thought, oh man, I should make a print screen of my subscribers so I can remember who subscribes and who didn't subscribe. Why? Because uh, it's just something in the future I'm going to do, but oh, it's so disappointing. I'm just trying to make people understand and show other YouTubers as well that and other celebrities that you don't need to be harassed you can get like the restraining order um, I did more research about that apparently in, in a few countries of a few countries you get certain types it, it's so mean that they do that it's like you can get a restraining order for everyone in every situation but that's not true not every situation but definitely what I said stalking definitely for free harassment stalking definitely for free but then it's like domestic violence it says you have to pay 325 euros and I'm like oh my god you're not helping human beings at all see this is what I mean with bit bad then you, then you have to make a difference in life if that's your life go up happy and guns blazing I'm not kidding 
Because if this is how you make a difference, apparently. This is how ma how people make movies about you. Say, oh, he did make a difference because we it's supposed to be free. Because you're 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 literally being. If a serial killer attacks you, and he he just chopped your arm off, and you just you, you see a police officer, you're like, please, please help me, please. And you're crying, bleeding. You're in so much stress, and the adrenaline is pumping. You're going crazy. Uh, you can get go into shock and that's even worse then then, then he has you and then the officers like no sorry no, I need to eat my donut guns blazing then you don't have a choice but to take that into matter have fun with it it's not a nice life to live but I'm saying that not everybody's going to live a good life and that's the thing I'm saying you all of us are still building towards that it takes a lot of time and a lot of people will complain, like you're old, sitting in a in a home, and you're complaining all the time. Why aren't you faster with my food? Why is this not? You do your job. You just feed me medicine all day, and you you don't. I don't even know what I'm getting. Uh, doing your research really helps that. So then you do know what you're getting. Actually moving and just doing every day. And I'm saying that your bones get don't get weak. I'm talking about so many different subjects. I'm saying that you need don't need to train your mind only, but also your body, because that really helps you when you get older. So you can learn more, do more. You learn that just because ha having form in your body is because you always work under the same constant pressure. See, I'm going to another subject right now. You can hear the change, right? I can see all of this. You know how crazy all of this is? I think all of this is weird and stupid. I don't want to be here either. Are you kidding me? Life is like, it's not that life is bad, it's just that this is so stupid. I have to talk about this and make people feel bad or good and play with their emotions and the words and words and meanings and blah blah blah. I have to explain everything to them. And I know this for a reason. And that's why I'm trying to, that's why I'm try, trying to tell you all of this, because it's valuable. But it's just that this is all just so stupid, it's ridiculous. But okay, so you complain like an old person because I I, I used to work at an old uh, people a retirement home for uh, old people's and uh, yeah they always complain and blame my ass for everything. So I give them a piece of my mind and that shuts them up. They're like, oh here comes the wise ass. Don't talk to him because he'll he'll know better. It's true, I do, and they love love to degrade you. <coughs> But that, but if I give a piece of my mind, that makes you complain less. That actually gives you a little bit of a boost. It's kind of motivating, and it, it helps you a lot. But it, 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 it's so many. I have to go through so many subjects, and I have to be specific and correct. Because if I make a mistake, that's it. That's you're gonna leave. You're gonna blame me. You're gonna walk around blindly, and I can't. I can't have that because nothing will change if if we not m change that first, you understand? We have to make that step. But you don't understand that yet, the thought behind that. So I have to keep explaining until it clicks. That means that I'm not going to give you all the answer. I'm going to make you read and I'm going to make you think. Because I want you to do that yourself so you don't have to look at this arrogant prick. That talks a lot of shit about your religion and stuff like that. What does he know? He wasn't even there. Exactly. I'm no one. And that's what I'm trying to say. I'm no one. I'm not anybody. I'm not a tortured individual. I'm no one. But sometimes I say that, oh yeah, I've been through this situation. That's how I know this. I've lived that life. I've lived that lifetime. That was me. That was my whole life. I literally tortured myself with that subject so I can know all of it, not just feel the emotions behind it. And then in this world, all knowing all of this makes you kind of crazy, but the right kind of crazy, that's what I'm saying. You have to get involved. And you'll see that most of it what you're going through is absolute nonsense. It's unnecessary suffering. It's just... Bunch of nonsense. 
And as for me, I say these things because this makes other people kind of feel good. If I say that, well, my life is actually worse than yours, it does open your, your eyes. But not everyone has that. Everybody has different epiphanies. Everybody opens their eyes differently. You think, oh, this, what is he talking about? It's so stupid. It is, it's all ridiculous, it's all stupid. It's all empty, but then there's you. So it's not completely empty, no, is there? See, I'm trying to see you, make you see these things again, these both sides. But there is an option for that, always. But there's also an option for doing good. But there's also an option for doing good, always. See, there's, a, there's the things you just don't see. Everybody opens their eyes differently. That's what I'm saying. Just everybody opens their eyes differently. It's either true good or true bad. It's, it's or in balance. That's what you're always trying to have. Sometimes it's it's in between. It's it's. I just have to keep talking, keep fiddling with your brain, keep picking your brain until you have an epiphany, I guess, and you you know what you're going to do, and nobody's nobody's going to stop you, and you become wise in that subject. You lift that subject. It makes your will, your urge. You give your heart, your soul, everything to that subject. And you just have to study and then just do it 100%. It's not one-sided thinking then. You have all of these other things available. It becomes creativity. It becomes... Your worldview becomes bigger. You start thinking outside the box and inside the box at the same time. You can go everywhere then. That's it. That's all I'm trying to do. But you're going to feel and, and say, Oh man, I'm just going to leave. This is not my kind of speed. I can't... This guy's crazy, I can't keep up. And it's true, I know exactly how I sound. I sound like a kid that has a lot of fucking issues. I do see that. But that's what you think, that's why I'm trying to say that you shouldn't categorize it. And it's true, in reality I do have a lot of problems. A shit ton of problems, I just said I have, I'm asthmatic, I have probably a brain damage, of course I have. I mean, I've been be beaten to death a few times, see? Uh. Situations do become scary, but you're like, how can you be beaten to death? Uh, it, it, what was in the school go good? Yes, I'm saying, that's why I keep saying, you need to, this is part of that subject now. I, I give a little bit of my, of my personal feelings to it and thoughts. But not all the time, usually it's just dead on. It's what I got from the internet, what I got from TV, what I heard from other people, and more people behind that. I'm not just here to bullshit you, but there's a lot of things that is going to be left out, but I don't want to sound like I'm talking like I'm from the freaking Bible, you know, like like I just studied the Bible my whole life and then that's it, that's done, because that's, that's unnecessary. Because otherwise I'll just talk about torture all day and it, it kind of makes you more darker, makes you more grim makes you kind of more angry and I don't want that for you that's it also um, one last thing before I actually start this let's play actually start this let's play make it fun again uh, I learned about Joan of Arc and uh, what, what happened um, to her like I watched the documentary yesterday while, while I was rendering my video and working out. Um, it's the same story as Rasputin. An angel showed up in her mind when she was about 13 years old. I think 12 or so, some angel showed up. Michael was there and stuff like that. Like a vision. Um, but it felt like a reality to Joan of Arc. Um, as I said in the video probably. or. Maybe not, but I, I've said something like that, that they do, if you have those kind of thoughts, because they get you at a young age, they got Jesus at a young age, or Spirit at a young age, Joan of Arc at a young age, they start when you were, when you are young, or either like Moses, really old, but I, nobody knows if Moses was actually real, there's no proof, we know Jesus is real because of scholarships, um, he studied schools, that's why he was so great. And everything was magical because he knew more, studied, than make the people see. Atkin Rowlinson, Atkin Rowlinson says the same. Like, uh, it was this one comedy bit that he uh, made and he said, uh, wow, and then everything was magical. 
and then this happened and now you're called Sharon from now on he made jokes about that um, people won't get that they think it's, it's funny how, how comedians just slip in a little truth there from time to time it's because they he knows more that's why it's so magical how does he know more it's godsend it's from other people that you study we had to make a start somewhere. Start at a plan, look at the lion, learn from the lion. Yeah, know when he kills a prey, he walks away. Now we can eat. Or we hunt ourselves. We have different methods, ways, and hunter gatherer stuff. It's, it's a form of thinking, I guess. You need to get, you need to get, get, get with it. You need to, you need to keep trying. And that's why I'm going to keep stimulating, keep trying. You can do this. All right. So I said that in my video that. Um, they should be spirits because they they are never their astral form they are never physical form and if they are physical you're being tricked by the devil Scott that made of FNAF games and God never shows up personally why would that what the fuck that guy is never there okay that's how it is learn from priests from abbots learn from these people Yes, I can talk in every form. I can I can even completely agree with you and be religious again. I, I lost my religion when I was younger. This is a lot of that's why I say the torture is just the torture can become real, so watch out for that shit. <sighs> you have no clue. That's good, uh, this, because this is unnecessary suffering. I don't want you to show more because uh, I'm gonna tell you hor horrible stuff, but not too horrible. Not so horrible it sticks with you for the rest of your life. Because I have stories that can stick with you. And you're probably like, no, that's not gonna happen. But actually it is. Man, you need to put a lid on that uh, imaginative mind of yours. I know, I know. I'm uh, probably that guy online that people are gonna make fun of. That that they're gonna be like, okay, put a bunch of shit on the screen. Bing, 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 bing. There you go, wisdom, take it. Did you know vitamins are healthy for you? I'm showing celebrities and other YouTubers that this is, this is Let's Plays. When you are not feeling well, when you are going through some stuff, and this is how you're going to be. But I'm glad these people got out of that. Like, you don't want to talk like this. You want to be funny and, hey, you feel good, and everything is so accurate in this video. Good editing skills. Good job. Alright, so, yeah. Joan of Arc. Um, she got too prideful at, at some point. Uh, fell off a horse a few times. Got spit on. Called, people called her names and all of that. Um... But it was this one point where she when she said to her to her army like just keep fighting just keep fighting and uh, I think it was England or see French France against England um, and basically she was too prideful and used the Lord's name in vain because you can't you can't say you know you can of course there's an option for that there's freedom remember you can do whatever you want but you can't use the Lord's name in vain she said keep fighting God's with you and all of that and then she got captured all right, so she thought maybe I was too prideful. I got captured. I need to tone it down a bit, and that's exactly what I thought. I thought maybe God was teaching her a lesson, and that's exactly what she thought. In the in, because that's why they explain it in the documentary. I don't know if that's actually true, because they they have little information about her and one little picture in a book about her. The funniest thing is is that this woman had hand gloves, but not a face mask, because when you talk you spit a lot. So that was kind of not logical to me unlogical yes it didn't make sense cover the fa face of that bitch just god damn it man it's like wikipedia all over again hey this is what cancer looks like put a warning sign and then do you so you sure you want to click this image and then click on it Are you fucking stupid wikipedia see this is what i mean with living subjects you just go a lot on wikipedia do your research do online research and actually try to talk to people how are you gonna talk to people simple you just go to the school there's a big school over here where there are uh, this is a university actually and well it's it's kind of a few miles away I'm not saying it's right next to me but there's a brothel next to me though hi yeah gonna read happens only comes once though good luck all right um yeah I don't believe it either <laughs> anything can happen until it's proven um, that it's not always going to happen. What? Um, let's see. What else I got here? 
Oh yeah, she needed to take a step back. I thought she needed to strategize more, which was brilliant. But um, the coolest thing is that she she got captured, jumped, <clears throat> sorry, jumped out of the the tower, and because she already had like an arrow in her, or she got stabbed, or an arrow was already in her thigh or something, and it was removed. I don't know about that. Um, but she was wounded either way, and she jumped off uh, out out of uh, uh, um, the tower. She was captured and she she fell. Uh, I mean, it's a tower. You jump for, from it, uh, and you probably well, break your legs. And that didn't stop her. She kept going, and she made it back to uh, her people. And her people were always questioning her if it's actually God that sent her. Even even when she like won her first battle or something, just like that. It was still a difficult thing to do, but uh, a 17 year old that does that, damn. But apparently she had visions like that since since she was uh, 13 years old, which is crazy because it starts young with everybody, and it was proven that um, to the priest, the abbot, that um, that it was not spiritual. These these beings, they were not uh, spectral, but uh, physical, and that that's that's what damned her. So the story was gonna be really crazy. Um, yeah, I don't think I should name that because I'm, I'm afraid of that part actually. Oh boy, they burn her till she had no clothes, and then they s showed the world that the common folk look, it's just a human, and then they they cooked her basically, and had her for stew. They said, "Do you want to come over for stew?" She said, "Yeah." Oh man, they didn't know it was me. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I was gonna make a joke about the confess. Damn it. Confess. Confess. And smack her. This is a Game of Thrones thing. Um. Nah. That's that's horrible. Yeah, I shouldn't tell that. Um. <laughs> Yeah, so basically, uh, what I was the main point I'm trying to make is that I called the devil Lucy. <laughs> I got it from these people, I forgot what they're called. Um, yeah, so Lucy basically couldn't do anything, so he used the human once again, he needed our help. But it, it the point I'm trying to make is that um, she did it all herself. 17 years old, she went out on a mission. If I if I said you said to you it it is exactly what you think it is, um, you like I don't know hurting people for instance, killing people whatever situation. See what I'm trying to say? Multiple things, bad or or good, but you can't do that without feelings, without being confident, or forced because that can happen as well. But the thing is is that. If you believe that it's it's the right thing to do or you have to do it exactly what I'm saying right now try to try to think with me it's it's a 17 years year old that did all of that if God didn't tell her anything she would be just like you normal person struggling but look how much of, a, of motivation of a boost of I need to do this that's what I'm trying to teach you that I need to do this 100% I don't care what it is my broken heart I don't give a fuck just I need to do this 100% so that, that shows me that human beings can do everything just like that but some people for instance that was a, was a, was a, a serial killer but he met, he met a, a, the woman of his life and he stopped killing people just like that I know he was having urges and the sex gate kept them busy probably, but seriously. That's what I'm saying, that with sometimes with words it's not working. So you have other methods and different ways, physically or, or mentally you can do this. But I'm trying to make you aware of, of how, because only you know what your problem is. And what you're going through. And you only you feel that you're real in life, that you're the only one that's actually real thinking. I have that. I guess that's a mental disorder then. Or a problem that's growing slowly but uh you see that what if god told you that you need to get a job right now you would get a job wouldn't you he's forcing you he's, he's 
He's or he's just telling you you really like the son of a bitch. I mean, come on, you can do this too. Only at 17, she didn't do shit. She was a, a peasant, I think, a farmer. I, people say peasant. This is a bad word, but um, it just means farmer, I think. Yeah, it just means farmer. But yeah, that's my story about that. So I'm I'm, st I'm gonna stop being all so cool and whatever and with other subjects I'm just gonna keep going with this let's play and you can uh, learn English with me alright so that's all what I was trying to say I'm so sorry that I wasted your time as well but I did give you warnings and signs that things would be coming I don't put text for nothing you know and if a let's play goes wrong I always talk philosophically when my let's plays go goes wrong you can now you read this on me Every time a let's play goes, goes wrong, I'm gonna talk about, I don't know, the devil or something. <sighs> That's a defense mechanism, by the way. Had this since I was younger. This is how I keep myself sane. By make, by uh, reshaping myself, I guess. But yeah, there's greatness in you. Whether you, whether you like it or not. And it's good feeling, man. It's a good feeling. So yeah, um, sorry I have to make this video shorter than normal holy shit i've been talking i thought i was just sitting here for 10 minutes and already 43 minutes passed holy shit all right so thank you very much for watching the only again in the next episode of the video i love i love i love uh, oh, i can't say the word but i like you guys okay bye